again, we did that one. And now the term and is just the word was. If you see this on the state test, you know that this part of the section is how many acres? Six so more. Big six box. One sixty. One hundred and sixty acres. A constitutional homestead out city, south city limits. And you did your division here, 640 divided by 4 is 160 divided by 4 is 40 divided by 4 is 10. So the main question is, how big are these two lots when assembled? 160 plus 10, right? Mm -hmm. Can anyone do that math? Yes. 170. 170. Good for you. Folks. Are you starting to see the arithmetic is not brain surgery? <coughs> again, arithmetically, we've done it over and over again. You see how it's done. <coughs> plus, that would be 170, which you might see on the stage. <coughs> now, again, common area measurements, of which you must be aware, to be very brief, is this. One acre contains, and you will ask, be asked to uh, Find number of lots on the state test grids of that nature. But always remember, one acre is 43,560 square feet. It is a tough number to remember unless you <laughs> repeat it over and over again. So here is your clue for memory if you want to use it. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Michelle, you happen to know my game. She's right. Four and three is seven. Five and six is eleven. I went to the Seven Eleven today and I bought a donut. 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 <laughs> Can't buy bagels in the carry business, okay? Gotta go someplace else to be big, not the Seven Eleven. You can buy a donut. There. So that'll help you remember, and you'll get into those issues as we'll see. Again, section is 136 of a township, 640 acres. That is knowledge which must be in your knowledge bank. Township, 36 sections, 36 square miles, 6 miles by 6 miles. So 36 is 36. Now, there are other issues that come into play for your state test. There is a term called the government lot. This is where uh, the section banks on water, okay? So again, it is a fractional piece, less than a full quarter of a section, less than 160 acres, but again, valuable because it's access to banks of lakes. And if one had the rights to the banks of those lakes, what rights would they have? <coughs> Lakes, the Toro. Lakes are large. They go up and down with the moon, right? Toro. The Toro for lake. Rivers or streams would be if they have a right. Right River rights? No. Right period. Riparian. You see how this all comes back to you. This is your foundation that you're building, slowly but surely. <coughs> now, again, uh, the uniqueness of the government survey method in 1785, they had <coughs> a rough idea that the earth had a curvature to it which must be corrected for. And the correction is called a check. An intersection of guide meridians and correction lines that form a square every 24 miles. These are 50 feet. And uh, using today's satellite technology, they found the government survey method is accurate within two and a half inches. That's foresight. Now, to finalize this uh, area, there is a third type of legal description, poxy. Uh, heavily used in areas that are subdivisions called the Platt Method. 
in the flat method because the full legal description of the Northwest Court of the Northwest Court, you know, uh, the 60 by 80 foot lot, you can go on indefinitely, right? <coughs> so then the idea is just use lots and block numbers when the developer develops the subdivision. So again, in a platted subdivision, as you'll see in your text, or you'll see here, uh, again, lot and block number would be the description. And again, before we had satellites, this was the way you found out what the, where the property was <laughs> and what it bordered, location, location, location. So that would be the platted subdivision. So, <clears throat> now, one of the uh, issues that we are dealing with is uh, people are buying land. And again, you pay so much per square foot for land. So again, we have a cul-de-sac lot, which is triangular shape, right? And a cul-de-sac lot might have to be, uh, how much should they ask per square foot for the lot? I'm buying from a developer. Well, it's easy to find out, okay? Remember, in uh, your arithmetical calculations, a triangle is what part of a rectangle? Half. Half, right? So you create a rectangular measurement, okay? 500 wide, 400 deep, divided by two. Uh, and then, who said divide by two? If you don't do that, you get a headache. So get 500, uh, by 400 would be 100,000 square feet. And now, if you divide that by two, you'd have, I'm sorry, that's 200,000 divided by two is 100,000 square feet. I want you to answer a question which you might see on the state test. How many acres are there in the 100,000 square feet? 3,000. I didn't ask you how to do it. I asked you what the answer was. <laughs> you see, you're making up your own answers. That can be very scary. So again, if I took 100,000 square feet and divided by 7, 11 by a donut, you have 2.3 acres, right? Then you didn't hit the right button. There was something between the tushy and the fingers that got no way. Watch your tushy, watch your fingers, use your brain. So now you know how to convert square footage into acres, and you've learned what you need to know in this chapter. That's it.